The Champions League is arguably the most prestigious club award in world football, no matter what continent you're on. So today we are going to win all three Champions League tournaments in FIFA 22 career mode, starting in South America, starting with River Plate. Not gonna lie, I absolutely love doing South American career modes in Copa Libertadores. This is the team we start with, with River Plate. We've got Alvarez, the man that's just been signed by Manchester City. De La Cruz is in there, Quintero. It's a decent starting side. Is that Bruno Zuccolini on the bench? I am looking to win the Champions League as fast as possible. We're gonna go out and upgrade the defense significantly, signing Pablo. 13.5 million pounds to bring him across from Lokomotiv Moscow. I was correct, it was Bruno Zuccolini, but he's off to the Premier League, not back to Man City, but this time off to Aston Villa. Also going to sell Matthias Suarez, the Argentinian striker is off to Frankfurt, and Milton Casco is also out of the club, off to Lazio. Gonna upgrade at the left back position here. Philip Max, the man with the haircut that I'm trying to get myself, not that, not that it's going too well, I need to get the uh, fringe recut and to be fair, to be fair, bleached as well, but we're gonna sign Philip Max for 15.3 mil. Also getting rid of one of our higher rated players, aging higher rated players, Brian Romero off to Hoffenheim. And we're gonna change up the formation and bring in Andrea Zivkovic, the Serbian winger, joining us from Pal. There's only one Rojas player that I actually have a lot of time for, and that is Marcus Rojas, Marco Rojas, but we are gonna sell Robert Rojas to Porto. The departures keep on coming. I'm not lying when I say I'm going balls to the wall for a Champions League title, a Copa Libertadores title in season number one. And we're gonna bring the Argentinian defender Fabrizio Bustos back to his home nation, signing him here for 12.6 million pounds. There we, this might be the busiest transfer window in River Plate history, 57 million pounds worth of players into the club and 51 out of the club. So as you can see here, lads, I have switched things up to a 4-3-3 formation. Quintero in the attacking midfield spot there. Very excited to see what this starting lineup can do and if we can go deep in the Champions League. So here we are on the 1st of January and we are currently eight points clear at the top of the Argentinian League, which is absolutely beautiful to see. For those of you asking, where's the Champions League? It doesn't start until late April. But after our opening window spending spree, there is no players coming in to this River Plate side. Santa Fe, Junior and Fluminense. Now Fluminense are the ones that I am definitely worried about, but all in all, Group D is a group that I seriously expect us to get out of, surely. And at the end of the Argentinian league season, we hold on. We've qualified for next year's Copa Libertadores and we top the league. Not a single loss in the group stages here of Copa Libertadores. We finish with zero losses and 12 points, meaning we're through to the round of 16. And in the round of 16, we're taking on America de Cali. I have no idea. Maybe they're from the Colombian League, the Chilean League. I don't know, but we've got them in our way. This is so annoying. Julian Alvarez's loan deal is expiring. And we are going to be without our star striker as we get into the round of 16 to kick off season two. Although to be fair, like he got 12 goals, which is decent, but it looks like Zivkovic is the star of the show. But that is season number one done here with River Plate. Let's get in and get into the round of 16. I tried to approach Pep Guardiola and Man City to see about a loan for Julian Alvarez, but they don't want to loan him out, so. We've got to look for other options. You might have seen him on the shortlist, but we have got our man. We have got ourselves a new star striker. Josef Martinez was on the free agents list and he is back to South America. The Venezuelan striker joining us here on a free. I'm going to sound like an absolute idiot, but is Venezuela South America? Yeah, it is South American. For some reason, I thought it might have been up like near Honduras and those sorts of sides, like, like Central America. The good thing about saving money at the striker role and getting a free agent player is that we can get somebody like Eric Bailly to join the defense here. The Ivorian center half is joining us from Man United for 15.6 million pounds. First leg, round of 16 against America Di Cali on the road. We're gonna simulate and we are going to lose 2-1 
We dominate them on shots. I really hope away goals rule is in FIFA 22 South American football. We need to dominate like we did in the first leg, but this time we need to actually find the back of the net. We're going to get into it here. The second leg at home, and we absolutely dominate. That is what I mean by taking control of your opportunities. Another big challenge in the quarterfinals. We've got Atletico Mineiro. First leg on the road here. Let's hope we get off to a better start than we did in the round of 16. We're gonna simulate it. One all is the score line. Again, I hope away goals rule is alive and active still in this comp. We absolutely dominated in our second leg in the round of 16. Here is to hoping Lightning strikes twice. We're going to simulate the second leg. It is another result in our favor. Zivkovic, this man is banging in goals left, right, and center. My hero. Well, well, well. We are the only non-Brazilian team alive and kicking here in these semifinals. Flamengo and Palmeiras. Palmeiras won it in real life this season, and Flamengo won it a few seasons ago, so a few heavyweights. But we're up against our old group mate. We know that we can get the job done against Fluminense, but we need to prove it again here to ourselves. On the road for the third successive time, here's to hoping things change. They do. It is a 2-0 win. We absolutely dominated. We have been absolutely dominating throughout the second legs of like, we've been dominating head to head without the score lines going in our favor, but here we go. Let's not bottle it for a spot in Copa Libertadores final. We simulate and we are headed to the final. However, that little period after halftime looked crazy. 66 minute Zivkovic scores, 68 minute Dela Cruz scores, and then 68 minute Bustots pits up a second yellow card and is gonna be suspended for the final. So in the final of Copa Libertadores here in season number two, we are versing Flamengo. Argentina versus Brazil. River Plate versus Flamengo in the Copa Libertadores final. Can we get our first piece of silverware? We simulate and we are champions of South America. Carrasco is the hero, comes off the bench and delivers us our first of three Champions League titles. Yeah, absolutely love to see that. The thing I love about South American football is their trophies are always just so big. Copa Libertadores, tech, tech, check. I'm gonna say tick and check, tech. But now it is time to head to the UEFA Champions League. We're heading to Bavarian country as we are taking control of Bayern Munich. And because of the way the South American football landscape is, we have taken over the Bayern Munich job late in November. We missed out on our opportunity to put the initial spark on the squad, but the previous manager has gone to work signing Sabitza, Casemiro, I see Hoiberg, De Vry, Brozovic, Schick. And because we take over in November, we are already deep into the Champions League group stages and it looks like we're gonna qualify for the knockout rounds. It just, it's just a matter of who finishes top between ourselves and Salzburg. Top of the group, baby. That's the Jared HD effect, you know what it is. So we find ourselves in a great position to tick off the Champions League in not even a full season, in like two thirds of a season. But in the round of 16, we've been drawn up against Man United. So we're now in January, which I'm happy about because it means I can put my spin on the side we are top of the Bundesliga, which is important. And we're nine points clear. So I haven't done anything. Like the previous manager before I took over must have signed Unai Simon on a pre-deal. It hasn't affected our club finances. So we've just essentially been handed another top quality goalkeeper. My first signing is somewhat strategy for the Champions League, but also we just need a new right back. Aaron Juan Basaka is making the move from Manchester to Munich, 47.4 million pounds. We're gonna sell Corentin Tolisso to Fiorentina. Leonardo Spinazzola is back to Italy, signing with Juventus. And Marcelo Brozovic, the Croatian defensive midfielder, is off to Barcelona. Is Brozovic the one that has the, like, the bomb tattooed on his neck? It's about right, we get a superstar German addition to the side, Kai 
Havertz, after his few seasons in London, is coming back to German football, signing with us at Bayern Munich for a monster £130 million. Champions League round of 16, we're travelling to Old Trafford to take on Manchester United. We're going to simulate the first leg, and it is all square, headed back to the Allianz Arena to all and of course, no away goals in the UEFA Champions League. Oh, that is not ideal. Nicholas Suler is out for two months. Wolfram Meccano is into the squad as we are back at home here, ladies and gentlemen, at the Allianz Arena, taking on Manchester United. We're going to simulate it, and we are going to progress to the next round of the Champions League. Seven shots, and it's a 2-0 win. Let's go. FIFA just doesn't want to see us win. We've had to go past Man United, and now we've cranked it up to the next level as we first Manchester City. This could be the first time in the entire video where we've started a knockout round game at home, I think. We've got Man City at home, would love another 2-0 win, but we are going to get a 1-0 win. Lewandowski with another goal to add to his tally. We've got the advantage, which is good. We've got the lead, but I'm really hoping. I noticed Thomas Muller was playing for them in the first leg. I hope Thomas Muller doesn't come on and eliminate us from the Champions League, but we are going to find out the moment of truth, and we are sweet. We are in to the semi-finals. Lewandowski, I swear there's one player from every team that wasn't won't stop scoring. At River Plate, it was Zivkovic, and here it's Lewandowski. Yeah, look, I can complain about my opponents in the round of 16 in the quarterfinals, but when you get to the semis, everybody's going to be tough. At home again, it worked for us last time. Let's hope lightning strikes twice. It is one all. Thank God away goals rule doesn't exist. And thank the gods even more that Real Madrid are like what we've been the whole video and can't finish their opportunities. I'm really hoping the trend doesn't continue where the team in the first leg that absolutely dominates gets a draw or a less than a stellar result and then just comes and wipes the floor in the second leg. I am hoping that we're not going to be the victims of that, but we're going to get into the second leg for a spot in the Champions League final. Book your tickets, baby. We win 3-1 and are going for the second Champions League title. Is there a way to tell Chupo Moting to piss off, <laughs> respectfully? Competition for places, I just wanna be like, bro, it's a Champions League final and you're 72 rated, go back to Stoke. Maybe we should play Chupo Moting. We're taking on his former side, PSG, in the Champions League final. Also, critically, we have won the Bundesliga title here with Bayern Munich, which means if we happen to fail tonight against PSG, we get, definitely get another bite of the cherry next year. Whew. Here we go, lads. Our second opportunity to win a Champions League title. We have conquered South America. Now it is time to conquer Europe. PSG Bayern Munich champions on a penalty shootout. Genie Wijnaldum is the villain of the story. The hero for us. Copa Libertadores Tech. P as a Europa League, no, Europa League, UEFA League, tuck. We win the Champions League final, but the ribbons make it look like the bloody South Sydney Rabbitohs have won. If you know, you know. But there we go, lads. We have conquered two continents. Now it is time for arguably the toughest of them all. It is time to conquer Asia. This move might come to surprise some of my fellow Western Sydney Wanderers fans, but we're going to take over as manager of Al Halal. So we're here in the Saudi Arabian League, taking control of Asia's most successful continental side, the team that my, my team, Western Sydney, beat in the Asian Champions League final in 2014. I was going to take over the Wanderers, but then I thought I might be here for seven seasons. But we have got Al Halal, and we've got an okay side to work with, honestly. I was looking forward, I saw Luciano Vieto, the former Western, uh, not Western Sydney, Fulham player, on the bench. I was like, okay, check the squad report. He's already joined another team. Thanks, previous manager. Thanks. Just like Bayern Munich, though, we have entered the season at the changeover period. So we're already four games into the Asian Champions League group stages, and we're off to a very good start. 
We have already qualified for the round of 16. And there is confirmation. We go undefeated in the group stages alongside Yokohama. Surprising to see Ulsan Hyundai, who are a pretty damn good side, doing so poorly. But if we were full of glowing reviews about Ulsan Hyundai, we have got Yunbuk Hyundai, another absolute, like a previous winner of the Champions League in 2016, I want to say. But it's straight into the quarterfinals to take them on. The good news, the job was essentially done for us when we got here. But we have won a Saudi Arabian league title here with Al Halal. This Michael guy could be an absolute machine. 28 goals and 7 assists this season is phenomenal. But it's time to get into season number 4. Season 5, I'm losing track. But let's go put our own spin on this Al Halal side. The good thing about taking over Al Halal is they're one of the richest sides in Asian football. So we've got a bit of money to spend. We're going to sign Sergio Rico for 8.5 million pounds. Getting some defensive reinforcements as well as Cedric Huntonji is going to join us here for 4.6 mil. Mohamed Alborak is off to FC Copenhagen and a new striker into Al Halal. The thing about Al Halal is they always seem to have ridiculously strong strikers in their side. Better Fimbi Gomis. They've had uh, El Shamrani in previous years. And now we are signing Andy Delort, the Algerian striker. Another one of our initial Saudi Arabian players off to Europe as Mohamed Kano is off to Galatasaray. Mamadou Sako was just too cheap of an option to turn him down. So we are going to sign the French defender for 3.1 million pounds from Montpellier. Even if he goes on the bench, if he drops in overall, that is still worth it for me. Gonna get rid of more talent though. Pablo and Ingles is off to Celtic. And Abdullah, Abdullah Al Maik, or Al Malki, I should say, is off to Alaves. And I wanna make one more absolute statement signing here. We're gonna sign Fred from Manchester, sorry, West Ham United for 15 million pounds right into the midfield. Welcome, Fred. I stuffed up, lads. I wasn't paying attention. I was thinking about the Fred transfer. I accidentally simulated the Yunbuk Hyundai first leg like thinking it was a preseason friendly. But thankfully, we got the win. But ahead of the second leg against Yunbuk Hyundai, this is how our starting 11 is looking. And I think it's safe to say that us putting our touch onto the side has taken us to the next level. All right, so we have the 2-1 advantage against Hyundai, against Yunbuk. Need to make sure we seal the deal and get ourselves through to the Champions League semi-finals, the ACL Champions League finals. We simulate and our Algerian edition Delore hits the ground running. 2-1 again, 4-2 and we're through to the semis. We're through to the semis and I think I might just have one as well. An all Saudi Arabian affair here as we take on Al Nassar in the Champions League semi-finals. The first leg is away even though we play at the same stadium in the King Fahid Stadium, but we are going to simulate it and we are going to get ourselves off to an absolute flyer. Again, like South American football, I hope the away goals rule is still active here. Ladies and gentlemen, for a spot in our third Champions League final, we take on Al Nassar and we are headed to the Champions League final. Look at the domination, seven shots to three. We get the job done. And we are so close to fulfilling the objective of the video. Okay, so it's going to be Saudi Arabia versus China. Al Halal versus Shanghai Shenhua, Tim Cahill and Demba Bar's firm, former side. We're at home, but we're going to watch this Champions League final. The controller is down. Can we get ourselves an early opportunity? We do! Michael scores in the sixth minute. Let's go! Ball being played around the box again! Delor oh my, we're actually dominating. We are actually dominating. Come on, I want three. I want three. I want three. Three nil. Michael's got a brace. Oh my God. We're killing these guys. Here we go. It's a chance for Shanghai. Oh my God, they missed. I thought they scored that. Put them to the sword. Put them to the sword. Put them to the sword. Delor, 84th minute. That's surely going to be the Asian Champions League. Look at that domination. Al Halal are once again Asian Champions League winners. You love to see King Continental with the red mullet with Fred holding the ACL title. But there we go, ladies and gentlemen. We have won Copa Libertadores with River Plate, the UEFA Champions League. 
with Bayern Munich and the Asian Champions League with Al Halal. Thank you for watching. Very much enjoyed this type of video. Make sure you give me any ideas on future videos in the comment section down below. It has been Jared HD here. I am out. Peace.